Okay, this is something that I queued up and I haven't read, so this will be a genuine reaction. Uh, there's a website called RPG Net, and this is apparently like a reset era style website that's just like extremely fucking stupid and full of like the biggest faggots on the planet. Um, it got uh bought because these websites, you know, the people that run these websites full of like woke retards don't want to own websites full of woke retards because they're the worst people to deal with on the fucking planet. So the second that their site gets big enough that they can sell it to somebody and make money and go do something else, they will. So RPG Net got sold to a new guy. Um, and as it turns out, he's on X and he's liking tweets about Trump and Republicans and Elon Musk. And it's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a fashy. That's what fascism is. You like Donald? You like a post on, on a social media platform? I don't like, mm, you must be a Nazi. So while, while he was giving the, the Hitler gruce to Elon Musk, on X by liking his post, uh, the astute trans folks of the website he had bought took notice and decided to call him out on it. Now, there's like an open Janny revolt, by the way, apparently. I no longer feel comfortable here. A goodbye. RPG owners off-site beliefs drawing legitimate anger. Mod and Mab statements inside. Esper Derek. A 20-year hero. So I guess he's been on the site for 20 years. Is that how that works? Has this been, the site been around for 20 years? I no longer feel comfortable being here. Thus, it's my time to say goodbye, I think. It's been 20... Oh my fucking God. It's 20 years on this fucking website. It's been 20 years. And I have a lot of good memories about this place, which makes this thing all the worth. But I can't be here anymore. If y'all want to keep up, I do have a Tumblr, F for Derek, that I occasionally post ramblings on. But for everyone else, see around the lowercase i internet. I really, 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 really fucking detest. They added a mod to Zenforo so that you can pick your faggot flag. This is my favorite faggot. I'm a huge fag. I want everyone to know I'm a giant cock sucking faggot. Oh boy. I love it when people think, oh my god, what a fucking faggot when they read my posts and when they talk about RPGs on this website. <sighs> um, wow. Oh, I fucked this up. Okay, I was gonna say, it better not be blue like that. Esper Frog Villa, new RPG.net owner, like tweet from RFK, Tucker Carlson, and more. Just left RPG Net, that venerable old tabletop RPG form, a form that I've been on for the past 20 years. Recently in March, it was bought by RPG Match, a startup aiming to do matchups for TTRPGs in the past couple of days. Despite their many reassurances, I got into my head to look up the new owner, Joaquin Lippincott. And lucky for me, he has a zitter, or, or X, I guess. Yeah, the first warning bell is that his description calls him a machine learning advocate, and his feed is full of generative AI shit. Oh, I'm sure he'll throw the fig leaf of AI shouldn't take creative jobs here and there, but all in all, he's a full-throated supporter of Gen AI, which means that Gen RPGs nets multiple assurances that they will never scrape for AI, suspect at best. <laughs> oh my god, we need, we need an AI Esper, Esper Derek. Where would we, where would we be? Where would we be in 20 years from now if we hadn't taken the 20-year-long post-history of Esper Derek and fed it into a generative learning model so that we could crank out his posts by the second? Where would we be as a collective society, as a humanity, in 20 years from now without this guy's voice immortalized on a computer? Lord help us. Um, so here's this post. Dave Benner, nemesis of neocon, says all wars are the product of lies. Ukraine's is no different. Um, here's some liking a post about the war in Ukraine is actually NATO's fault. Uh-oh, he liked the black guy. Here's him liking a right-wing influencer's tweet advocating conspiracy theory about Hunter Biden. So Hotep Jesus, who's like a black guy, says this scheduled the UFO hearings the same day about President Biden, Hunter Biden's plea deal. How convenient. That's a conspiracy. Bobby Kennedy is winning. Sure, this did like this Tucker Carlson video on Robert Kennedy. Gee, I wonder who is voting. This guy's voting in October. 
Oh my god. Chat. This motherfucker's voting. Come on. We don't vote. We don't fucking vote around here, chat. Fuck this guy. Who the fuck does he think he is? I'm voting. I'm gonna vote. Yeah, sure you are. Fascist. <laughs> vote for him. I bet he, I bet you he's writing in Adolf Hitler. That's a, that's what I think he's voting for. Okay, I want to see the post. Um, okay, this guy is a faggot, a faggot, and a triple faggot. It's like a like a like a I need like a quake line sound effect for that triple fag. Like just miss atomic bomb, <laughs> community advocate. <laughs> Guidance. I just woke up. I didn't know about any of this stuff. Miss Miss Atomic Bomb over there. Miss is like is like just woke up. I'm like oh my god, oh my god. The not job I've had for the last twenty years. I've been. I'm now working for a fascist. Writing in Adolf Hitler for his vote. I need. I'm gonna post guidance. I like how this post is not actual guidance. It's just like this. Po this is supposed to be like this is like an official mod. It's like a what's it called? Like a pope speaks, the like, and it's supposed to be like the word of God when they speak. It's like you speak from the chair or whatever. He's speaking from the chair, and his his message is, ah! <laughs> I said an urgent urgent message to Joaquin, and I'm waiting for a reply. Give me some time to eat breakfast and gather up posts and context. I'm not marking this thread A-game right now or closing it, but please do stick to what we've got so far. Uh, 15 year user Takhera says, yeah, yeah, this is not cool. Definitely concerning and yeah, all right in the open. Kite, who is a validated user, well, we're all, they're all, come on. Come on, they're all heckin' heckin' ballads, okay? And by valid I mean in the space station thirteen cents where you can smash them to death with a toolbox. This is Alec to take in and frankly terrifying slash depressing. Um Miss Atomic Bomb followed up his last banger with another speaking from the chair moment and he says I don't really like putting site management stuff that's my pondering and opinion and guidance box, but I'm going to do it anyways because I'm a fucking faggot. But I'm going to do it a bit so people can see it. Oh, I, dude, how how could I miss the post of Miss Atomic Bomb? Like, I'm scrolling through. Oh, here's a gross faggot. Here's his fucking staff banner. Here's his triple fag flag thing going on down there. Oh, Oh, he must be important because he's got that purple box. He got that purple box, chat. He got that purple box. The only thing I'm thinking of is that maybe there's a, a way to view only the guidance post in the thread. But if this is just like a decorative thing or it's just like, yeah, my post. This, me having a mental breakdown today is super important. You got to watch this shit. Um, he says, I've had a conversation with Joaquin and I'll post the summary shortly. We, the mods, will have an independent statement soon. It will not be approved or even thrown to Joaquin or anyone else. The critical part, the mod team and I are loyal to you, the community, not the owners of the community space. Oh, and just so you know, I'm going to make some gaming posts today. <laughs> oh, boy. Yay. I can't wait to read Ms. Atomic Bomb's gaming post. Um, roll a, roll D20 to see if you, uh, poo-poo or pee-pee yourself. Um, because you're super, super scared. The big scary goblin. The booga, booga, booga. And, uh, you gotta roll. You gotta roll. And we'll, we'll subtract your endurance. Your thinker endurance. <laughs> roll. I remember, um, in the early days of the, uh, the Kiwi Farms, when we were still the Quickie Forum, we had our own tabletop game. And there is a, a specific, like, um, like rule set that you can play by that's kind of like based off the main Dungeons and Dragons, but it's supposed to be like for like horny RP. And um, I remember that when you make your character sheet, you have to roll for your your anal circumference, and that like the guidebook explicitly has rules for anal circumference based on your age, and it goes all the way down to zero. So if you have like an infant, you can still roll for his anal circumference. It's like a really weird game. And I remember that they tried to play it once. Um, and they remarked that based on the rules of the game, you can't um, you can't avoid rape. 
Like, rape is something that just happens accidentally and spontaneous. Ba fatal. There you go. Um, and they said that, like, based on the rules of the game, like, f forced sex is just something that happens, and you can't avoid it if you don't want to. If you play by the actual rules of the book, uh, rape just occurs sometimes. So that sounds like India. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, cool. Okay, I do not know why you're spamming. That's really fucking annoying, bro. Uh, okay, so there's that. Next one. Oh boy, this is like a really big guidance post. There's a double, double guidance. Dun dun dun. This is how you know shit's fucking real. They slept on the guidance to let you know that the other guidance is super fucking important. Uh, this post is a summary of Joaquin's responses next post will be a statement from the mod oh god okay so this is just the preamble okay i asked joaquin specifically about the points raised and here's what he said i told him i'm po posting this but i didn't give him editorial pass or approval oh thank god miss atomic punch has the journalistic standards we expect from rpg.net please don't debate these points individually in the thread i know and have told him they go against the overall community consensus he supports civil rights for LGBTQIP plus people. He supports RFK as a candidate for president. He currently identifies as libertarian. He doesn't trust the government or any of the media, regardless of its politics. He believes that COVID vaccines are effective. Oh, he's cringe. But that any medication should be a personal choice. He believes pharmaceutical companies are untrustworthy. He doesn't like pharmaceutical... Imagine believing that. Imagine believing the opposite of that. Whoa. What do you mean? That pharmaceutical companies are untrustworthy. Pharmaceutical companies are the pillar on which we build our society. In the same way that the Bible was central to medieval Europe, pharmaceutical countries or companies and their, their ethics and, and standards and how they're so beholden to the health of the people that you question them, you spit in the face. Uh, he doesn't like Silicon Valley culture. I'm a tech guy who thinks that Silicon Valley has created a nasty culture that is responsible for killing entry-level jobs, so I've created a nonprofit to help them. Path.org. Am I a racist? No. Am I a homophobe? No. Do I trust the government? No. Do I believe in U.S. bows? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't want to read all this. I don't give a shit. I told Joaquin not to post for now. This isn't the time for a statement from him. It's time for me to give you precise... Dude, the fucking head on this guy. He's like, oh my god, I get to be important. Yes, 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 yes. I get to... Shut up, new owner of this site. It's me. It's about me. I'm going to issue my statement and my interview with you first. Then you can talk, owner of this website that can ban my account at a fucking whim. Oh no, the moderator to we, sir, we have we have elevated from guidance two to moderator text one. I am not joking. We have elevated from guidance level two to moderator text one. This is not a drill. Deep breath. Let's start off with. I mean, this is a role playing site, so we gotta we gotta do some role play here, chat. Deep breath. I I open the text editor and proceed to address the community. The weight of this responsibility bears down on me heavy. I know that what I say dictates the future of this community and all eyes are on me because I am so important and tasked with this extremely crucial role. But he says, for real, we, the volunteer team and moderators at Miss Atomic Bomb, we, the volunteer monitors and Mr. Tom Bomb, pledge to do what we can for as long as we can. This is a pledge from us, not approved or read in advance by anyone outside the mod team. Here's a here's a word of advice. Someone might be listening to this um, who will find themselves in this position. If you are ever acquiring a a community forum that's like really big, fire all the mods day one immediately. And then make up some bullshit for it and say, like, 
this was just like, you know, this was like a thing that we had to do for security's sake because we don't know all the, you know, it's kind of like when we're just like, re, we're changing all the locks on the building because we just bought it. We're changing on the locks. You know, it would be like that. We're just changing on the locks. Um, we'll give you the keys in a bit, but we um, we want to get to know you first. We want to get to know you first so that we know that you are positioned in the best possible way to best effectuate your job and do the best for this community. We want to make sure that you have the right tools. So we want to talk to you first. And then anyone who's like a gross fag with the triple flag going on, um, ghost them and just be like, yeah, you know, we don't think that you're a right fit. We want to go in a different direction. <laughs> Ah, uh, cool. Our greatest responsibility is your health and your safety. Whatever the site's owners may say or do, it is the moderating team that keeps this community what it is, and the moderating team will always, always side with the health of the community. I kind of feel like he's really, like, sucking up because it's like, um, what he wants to do is if something happens and he he wants... No, for sure, this guy does not have, like, the good intentions of the community in mind what he wants to do is set it up so that um when he, he wants to turn the guys against the people who are uh who are i need like a mod evil eddie did this okay great balls of fire how do i make you a mod sorry there's like a weird thing where people are just spamming my chat Okay, I'm going to go to the creator thing real quick and set up a mod, and I'll give my thought. My thought is basically just that I think that he's deliberately trying to provoke this, where it's like, um, I'm going to make the community hate this new guy, and then from that position, I can insert myself as the the obvious choice for like leading the revolution and starting... Because th this, um, this actually happened with... What is it? RPG? Not the, the other one. Reset Era? Reset Era was a breakaway from that other board. So he's like, okay, I can get myself in this position where I'm going to build up trust with the community and really, really go over how much I so care for them and stuff. Um, and then from there, when... Um, from there, I can just set up my own site and... Uh, get people to come over and then I'll have true power. I will no longer just be a Jenny sweeping it up for free. I will have the Patreon. I will have the power. I will get to decide the staff. I'll get to have 8 million fag flags under my name. That's the goal. Okay, sweep it up, Jenny. Um, Hell or high water, we will stick to your use. We're your moderators. Okay, Can, Canon Marcus says, ah, see, like this, I want to believe this is possible. I'm a Jewish raised. <laughs> I'm a Jewish raised trans pagan. And I have absolutely had friends like this, but they aren't friends anymore. Because there isn't any amount of modern conspiratorial thinking that isn't immediately tied up with the protocols of Elder Zion. <laughs> to say nothing of the various more recent innovations on the formula. These days, my friends either aren't conspiracy theorists or friends because I can't cut them off. Um. He hid this from us. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The 20 year guy, the 20 year veteran of sucking dick on this website, um, <laughs> has uh, decided that. He's going to come back and write a giant post. Oh, by the way, to the um, Great Balls of Fire guy, I gave you moderators, so you have to ban everybody now. They have, like, a number at the end of their sentence. Ban them. Be careful, though. Mod sucks. Get a new mod. Mm, a three-month subscriber. And this guy can't... Okay, Koo Coats. Give me a second. This is very annoying. Usually I just ignore people, but this is, like... Like organized or some shit. How do I spell your name? Kuz Coets. Does that work? Mm. So if I type in your name, it just doesn't fucking do anything. It's 
weird. Okay, I guess I can't moderate you. That's really fucking weird. Like, you're, you're in my fucking chat, you're a subscriber, and then when I try to, like, moderate you, it just doesn't work. Total gunt death. Maybe you can work. Um, okay, when I type in your name, <laughs> nothing even comes up. Bro, Evil evil Eddie is doing this. Like, why the fuck can I not pick a moderator? Oh, my God. Okay, I might give up. I might just close the kick chat. Sorry. <laughs> no more kick chat. I apologize. Cause I, have to, I have to do a stream and such. I'll pick a moderator later. Um. Okay, I don't care. Look at this guy. Look at this guy melting down. He can't leave the site. He, he's he's known this site longer than he's known his parents. Because I guarantee you, he's like forty, and he probably cut off his parents at some point, and then became an RPG Net poster. And he's probably known RPG Net longer than he's known his own family. So he can't leave. Okay, we have another moderator post. This is from Crazy Ivan, another twenty-year hero. Uh, Miss Atomic. I don't know who Mab is. Mab and the moderation team have had a very long day. We are temporarily closing this thread to allow time for some recovery and to finish up responses currently in the works. We understand many of you are concerned. We want to make sure those concerns are addressed in a way that's meaningful and productive rather than letting speculation build for hours before we have a chance to address it. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad that they might have to cohabitate with somebody they disagree with? That's like getting raped, I think. I think Patrick was right. That's basically rape. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!